There's a quote by Albert Einstein. He said, imagination is everything. It is the preview of life's coming attractions. Imagination is usually something we think about that belongs to children and their play. But according to one of the most well-known geniuses, Albert Einstein, imagination is everything. And it is not only belongs to everyone, but it is the most powerful and useful tool to achieve happiness and success in your future. Imagination officially described in the dictionary as the ability to form a mental image of something that is not perceived physically through the five senses. And we all know what our five senses are. Is what is more commonly known as our inner vision. It's our hope, our inspiration, and has brought our world to where we are today. Imagination is closely related to creativity and is the fuel for innovation. How is it that we have smartphones overseas, Wi-Fi, the internet, airplanes, or even basic cable and electricity. It's the imagination of those artists and scientists who imagined something bigger and greater than what was already in existence. And even more than that, they possess the power over their mind to believe in the actualization of their visions. You must believe in whatever you're doing or imagining before anyone else will begin to believe in you. One of the most powerful things you can do in regards to utilizing your imagination is to use it subjectively. Simply think about how you would ultimately desire your life to be in the present tense, as if your life was that way currently, right now. By default, you constantly think of how you would like your life to be in a futuristic sense. And if that's so, you have essentially separated yourself from your desire or you imagine the negative things you do not want in your life and you ultimately sabotage your life. And you will notice that all the negative things that you don't want constantly shows up in your life. Your life always will go in the most dominant direction of your thoughts and imagination. I know oftentimes we are autopilot and we don't have the awareness that we need so that we can circumvent those things that we don't want. 
so your conscious awareness is to be developed and nurtured so you can become more aware when you're off track in regards to your goals so that you can get back on track. There's a study done in 1996 in that year, I believe, by a doctor at the University of Chicago with a group of randomly selected students who were asked to take a series of free throws. The percentage of made free throws were documented and afterwards the students were divided into three groups and asked to perform three separate tasks over a 30-day period. Now group one was told not to touch a basketball for 30 days. No practicing or playing basketball whatsoever. And group two was told to practice shooting free throws for 30 minutes each day for 30 days. Group three was told to come to the gym every day for 30 days and spend 30 minutes with their eyes closed, simply visualizing hitting free throws. So after the 30 days, all three groups were asked to come back and take the same number of free throws they had in the beginning of the study. So group one of students who did not practice at all, they showed no improvement, which was no surprise. In group two, the second group that practiced every day for 30 minutes shooting free throws, they showed a 24% improvement. And in group three, However, that group which had simply visualized making successful free throws, they showed a 23% improvement, which was shocking at the time, especially to those who don't know the power of your imagination. Now the measurable improvement in the group that purely visualized the exercise, they were virtually the same as the group who had physically practiced making free throws. Now let me explain this a little further because the more you hear something, the higher likelihood you will become persuaded by it. Now there are some important things to consider when visualizing as it's related to the aforementioned study. If you just picture yourself shooting free throws, for example, in the third person as if it was a movie, as if you're observing, you probably won't improve as much as you could. You need to visualize everything out of your eyes in the first person. You have to be there at the free throw line, feeling the basketball as if it's currently in your hands right now. Seeing the goal, hearing the noise of the crowd or the noise of the ball bouncing. 
as you shoot, you should feel the ball roll off your fingers. You should see the ball traveling through the air with perfect backspin. You should see your hands out in front of you with the perfect follow through. You should see your hands out in front of you holding the follow through as you hear and see the ball swish through the net. The more you are able to bring to the forefront as many senses as you can, the more real that situation becomes for you. Seeing, feeling, hearing, utilizing as many of the five senses as you can, the more real it becomes to you. You can feel yourself into whatever you desire to be. Your imagination is one of the most powerful tools you possess, but the key is to utilize it on purpose every day so that you can imprint your subconscious mind and thus creating the life you truly desire. There's a quote by Mark Twain, and he said, you can't depend on your eyes when your imagination is out of focus. Your imagination can change any current undesirable circumstance in your life if you're able to discipline your mind and thoughts. And we all know from previous podcast episodes that you can influence and imprint your subconscious mind by combining your goal with the feeling of your wish fulfilled. Your imagination is so powerful that it can change your physical health. There have been numerous documented reports over the years of people using their imagination to heal their bodies, their physical bodies. Even the placebo effect, when some patients in the hospital were given sugar pills and others were given actual medicine or medication and the results show the patients who took the benign sugar pills, believing it to be actual medicine, showed improvement of their ailment. Everything is in our minds, how we perceive things, and the intensity of how we perceive things can bring things to past even at a more rapid pace. There's another quote by Henry Thoreau, and he said, this world is but a canvas to our imagination. We are constantly painting on the canvas, continually, every thought, every feeling, anything that we can feel, we are painting. You are actually deciding what happens in your life through your imagination and habitual meditation all day long. Taking control of your own imagination is key in developing your mental strength. Now your mental strength could be weak or not as strong as you would like it to be, but you can develop it by becoming more consciously aware. 
There's a quote by Napoleon Hill, and he said, first comes thought, then organization of that thought into ideas and plans, then transformation of those plans into reality. The beginning, as you will observe, is in your imagination. Absolutely everything starts within you. So stop looking outside of you and begin looking within you for everything you need. You don't need anything but you. So be proactive and begin implementing the things you've learned today in order to start the process of your new mind creation. Also remember to join me again next week for an all new episode.